Welcome back to another episode of Pinch of Soul Cooking. This is your girl Patrice and today I'm about to show you how I make my sweet homemade cornbread from scratch. Here's the ingredients. Let's go. All right, let's get started. So I got this uh, half a cup of butter. I'm gonna put that in the microwave and get that melted. Real quick, I did go ahead and put my cast iron skillet in the oven to preheat with the oven at 425 degrees, okay? So that's in the oven right now. All right, so right here, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna add in one and one fourth cup of cornmeal, a three fourth cups of flour. I added in a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of baking soda. And what I'm gonna do with this is go ahead and give that a nice mix. I wanna get everything incorporated and mixed together, okay? If you miss any of that, go ahead and check out www.pinchofsoulcooking.com. That is my website. The recipe will be there with all the um, ingredients, all the measurements, all the uh, directions. Yeah, you can get it there, all right? So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this all together get it well incorporated all right we're about to go ahead and get this butter remember i did um a half a cup with just eight tablespoons i took out a little bit so i could add it to the cast iron skillet but in this little bowl here we're going to go ahead and add in our one third cup of milk, our one cup of buttermilk, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add two eggs inside of this container as well. And then we're gonna give that a nice little whisk and get everything in here well incorporated. For this recipe, we do separate, you know, we mix the dry with the dry ingredients, we mix all that in one bowl, and then we whisk, whoops, <laughs> then we get together and get all the wet into a separate bowl and then we'll go ahead and add them together so go ahead and give that a nice little whisk right there now you're going to go ahead and add in the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients Go ahead and mix that all together and get that nice and creamy looking. It's gonna end up looking like cake batter, which um, I ain't mad at all, y'all, because I like my cake. But yeah, it's gonna uh, look like cake batter when it's done and it's gonna be so good, y'all. I actually was making this for um, some dressing. So yeah, this is a great recipe to make. So you wanna have your cornbread dressing. But remember, this is a sweet one now. You want savory don't add as much sugar all right so that pan the cast iron, cast iron pan look at that it's glistening y'all y'all like my cast iron pan oh my goodness look at that it's so well seasoned all right so we're gonna go ahead and get that butter in there we're gonna move that all around get it nice and coated around the entire pan that's about one tablespoon of that butter of that melted butter that i put into there so at this point also, I went on ahead and turned the heat down in the oven to 350 degrees. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead on and add this in. And as you can see, as it's going in, look around the edges, it's actually starting to cook because that skillet is already preheated. So that's okay, that's what you want, okay? So we're gonna get all that goodness in there. We're gonna give it like a little shake just so you know, kind of get everything shaked up in there it out you know what I'm trying to say y'all and we're gonna go ahead and get that into the oven depending on your oven this is about 20 25 minutes mine only took 23 minutes and yes look at that all right y'all I hope y'all enjoyed this video go ahead and give the girl a like if you have not subscribed what you been for go ahead hit that subscribe button and look don't be like a girl here get you like a little knife or something y'all and put <laughs> spread that butter on top but yeah you can spread the butter on there you can add some maple syrup you can add on some 
nice little honey if you like on top of that and it'll be so darn good so again i hope y'all like this video like i can't say it again go ahead give me a like go ahead and subscribe and i will see you all in the pinch y'all have a great one